Yes, back to the markets. We turn positive, at least for the Dow Industrial gain, obviously, but we are at 25,400. It's been a great start to the year. Uh, the calendar year 2019, we've gone straight up for stocks. Ryan Payne is with us, and he's the pay, uh, president. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. You are the president. Capital, aren't you? I've been called worse. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you think the market keeps going up? I'm pretty bullish here. Um, you know, we've had a strong year so far, and I think the big thing here is you've got to remember stocks are a slave to earnings, and earnings have come in. You know, 70% of companies have done better than expected so far yep. this season, so I expect that's going to keep up. And you think that earnings will keep up a very strong pace as we go into the year? Yeah, what I like is everyone got so negative last year that their expectations came down so much that now the bar is just so low that prices are stocked, uh, are priced you know, relatively cheap. So my guess is that most stocks are going to beat their hurdles in terms of earnings. 26,800 is the record high, closing high for the Dow. We're right now at 25.4, not that far away. Do we make new highs on the Dow? Um, I don't have a crystal ball, but if I was a betting man, I'd say definitely we're going to break those highs this year. Well, you're an investment advisor. <laughs> Isn't that? No, that's not the same thing. But uh, you've got to have a crystal ball for that. You know you do. Um, how about dividends? Because I'm always interested at my age in dividend paying stocks. They're going to hold up? Well, here's what I think. So first off, remember, 40 percent of your returns long term are dividends paying out, not the market going up, which we a lot of times we forget that. If you look at this year projected in the U.S., dividend yields are supposed to go up by 8 percent which is a very good number. Yeah. Uh, but furthermore, what you got to look at is on a relative basis, right? If I'm a 10-year treasury right now pays about 2.7%, a little lower today, yep. I could buy a basket of banking stocks. I'm getting the same yield, 2.7%. But they're going to project, the dividend yields project to go up by 16% this year. So the point is you've got a, a, rising, uh, you've got a rising cash flow investment versus you're locked into a treasury for 10 years at 2.7%. Yeah. Stocks look very attractive. Yeah, the stocks look attractive in that scenario. Uh, the president last night said the economy is, well, it's an economic miracle. I think you share <laughs> that belief, don't you? I mean, we're at economic nirvana, is that what you're saying? I use economic nirvana, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I think it is for a couple of reasons. First off, we just added another 300,000 jobs plus in January, which is a tremendous number. Yes. Unemployment at 4%, um, and you have inflation very, very low. So that's the magic, the fact that inflation is only 2%, and the Fed said they're going to basically put the brakes on any sort of monetary policy, so they're not going to raise interest rates for the foreseeable future. So you kind of have like the perfect balance right now for the economy and stocks to do really, really well. Oh, I like the sound of that. Ryan Payne, good stuff. Thank you very much, Ryan. We'll Thanks, see Stuart. you soon. Gotcha.